Welcome to United by Trucks. Today we're showing you another critical component to UBTK5. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in. Today is an awesome and exciting episode. We have another critical component for UBTK5 that we're going to be showing you today. We're working with two great partners on this particular build and it's in the wheel and tire space. So y'all hang tight, we're going to get some wheels and tires loaded up, go get them mounted and balanced, and maybe show you what they look like on at least part of the chassis. Y'all hang tight. All right, as you can already tell, looks like we got some Detroit steel goodness, some continental goodness. Really excited about this. So we're gonna get the other two tires loaded up because we got five. And then we are headed to get them mounted and balanced. All right guys, we're in the truck. We got the wheels and tires loaded up. As you've probably seen, little Detroit steel wheel, continental tire action. So if you've seen any of the previous videos, especially the one where we had the Detroit Steel Wheel Steelies mounted up for Teddy. You know I got a buddy named Noah Dean who works in the tire industry and can mount and balance and do all that sort of stuff. So we're actually, uh, about to hit this van in front of me, actually taking these wheels and tires over to him and gonna get these things mounted and balanced. Really, really excited about that. But I'm even more excited to get them back home, maybe bolt one or two up to the chassis, see where we are. So we don't have the front end on yet, but Maybe we can throw some on the back. So y'all hang tight. We'll catch up with you here in just a minute. Sweet Real sweet That's when you know you make plenty of money selling tools. All right, guys. So we made it up to Pet Boys. About to get to Detroit Steel Wheels. Mount it up. I know this is a first look. You guys haven't even seen these yet. A 22 inch all the way around. On Continental tires. So we went with the Extreme Contact DSW06. 265, 35 up front. 285, 35 in the rear. And then we've got a spare to throw on the external spare tire carrier. It's around here somewhere. So pretty pumped about these my buddy Noah is gonna get them mounted up I think Aaron's gonna help him and uh, we'll show you that here in just a minute it's all right Robbie knows different I know the deal what's up Noah hey bud appreciate you doing this for me man always this is awesome so we're getting a 22 inch Del Rays mounted up from Detroit Steel Continental tires Dude, you're already making quick work of this. Just in case you guys do remember the other Detroit Steel video where we were getting some wheels mounted up by Noah. This is that K10 we showed y'all. This thing is sweet. You finally got the trim on it. It's got new paint. I don't know if those are 33s. I think those are probably 33s on it. But really, really killer set up. Noah's a good dude. 
I think last time he was at Discount Tire. Now he's over here managing the Pet Boys in Kennesaw, Georgia. So if you need somebody who's a truck guy to get you set up on your wheels and tires, get them mounted balanced, he's the right guy to do it. So that is the 22 by nine for the front with a two 65-35 tire. So my buddy Ben got the first one balanced, got it all mounted up. Got it all weighted on the inside. Yeah, hardly even weighted. Good job, yeah, Detroit still. Straight. Can't beat that. So not only did they get us all mounted and balanced, they got these cool little chrome valve stem covers that, while I'm not a huge fan of chrome, actually set these wheels off pretty well. Appreciate that. All right, so Ben's been over here balancing a lot of these wheels, these Detroit steel wheels. So, what's your thoughts on how they've done? It, they're actually really straight. I'm really surprised. The most I put on one, 1 1.25. Man, is nothing. That is literally nothing. That's awesome. So, thanks, Detroit Steel. You guys kill it. You know, Detroit Steel Wheel Del Rays, Continental Tire, Extreme Contact Tires mounted up. Big thanks to Noah, Ben, and Aaron for getting the job done for us. Really appreciate them. If you're looking for somebody to mount and balance your tires, definitely come up to Pep Boys in Kennesaw on George Busby Parkway. But we're gonna get these wheels and tires loaded up, headed back to the house, get them loaded up on the chassis. Y'all stay tuned. So we got them all loaded up. Trying to anyway. <laughs> it's a little harder to fit five wheels and tires in the back of a truck, especially when they're 22s. But big thanks to these guys. Y'all don't go anywhere. Aaron. Appreciate it, Noah, as always. Ben, nice to meet you, man. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you soon. Those are the fronts. So those are 265, 35, 22 Continentals with 22 by nine and four inches of back space on those. But then these are the rears. And obviously they're all mounted up. Those are 285, 35s with 22 by nine on the rear with four inches of back space. So not just some huge lip, not some ultra wide wheel, but definitely achieves the look that I'm going for on the K5. All right guys, thank you for tuning in to this episode of United by Trucks. We are super happy to be partnering with Detroit Steel Wheel and Continental Tire on the UBT K5 wheel and tire setup. Obviously, these achieve our goals pretty significantly. I mean, we wanted a factory-ish looking wheel that is in larger diameter, that has a little more modern feel, and we wanted something that you all, the UBT community, could just go buy right off the shelf. So these aren't custom backspaces or anything like that. You can go straight to Detroit Steel Wheel and order them. I'll drop their information down below in the description so you can do that. And these tires, same way. They're an ultra high performance, all season tire. So they're good in the wet, good in the dry, and they're gonna let, give you a lot of tread wear throughout the year. So really happy to have these Detroit Steel Wheels wrapped in Continental Rubber. Hope you really like the setup we've got going for UBT K5. Definitely leave us a comment down below. Let us know what you think. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. We got a lot of cool stuff coming up, particularly on this build, but on other vehicles too. So we hope you'll stick around and subscribe to the video. Smash that thumbs up down below the screen while you're here, and we'll catch you next time right here on United by Trucks. Cue the music.